All right, what is up, everybody? Um, we are here with a new rings map by DMC. This is the third, I believe, of his uh, renditions of these rings maps. This, this one seems the longest and uh, most difficult because there's actually a limited boost uh, option here. So um, each difficulty, I think, gives you different mounts. So we got 100, 60, 50, and then 40. I think since my car control is pretty decent, I'm probably going to start with the uh, the 40 immediately and just see how how well I do. I don't really know how many how many boost uh, you need to start to get yourself going, but I'm gonna get some speed up before I jump into the first ring. Oh, you get a hundred anyway. Okay, <laughs> they give you a hundred in the first the first ring. That was point pointless. Um, but this this kind of map is really good for car control, especially with the limited boost. Uh, it teaches you how to feather your boost properly in certain spots. So I'm imagining that I'm probably have to like keep my speed up too, because if I go too slow. I'm not going to make it through. Sorry for the steam message. That is me. <laughs> I have to turn it off. I always do that. It's so difficult for me to remember all that stuff before I set up my recording. But yeah, this teaches you how to keep your car control uh, slow and steady. Um, especially in these maps with the rings, you want to make sure you're feathering properly and uh, air rolling where you need to. This could be pretty hard here. Make sure I hold my boost actually on these because I want to keep my speed up. Okay, this part's not too bad because since I'm falling, I can use less boost to let the, the, the gravity do the work for me. I turn around here. Oh, I hate when the camera does this. That's like a gray area. Definitely. And in, in like yeah, car control and camera, when the, uh, the car does that, these maps definitely deal with those the worst. And I think DMC did a really good job in the past with uh, his um, trials maps, like the obstacle course he did a really good job of um using the ball to deal with the camera basically just hold ball cam on and then the ball will spawn in certain areas and the car will look at it or the camera rather yeah so far this is pretty good this is a uh, definitely the most difficult rings map it seems the longest too and more controlled because of the boost um most of the other ones were just like hold down boost and spray <laughs> spray the boost everywhere but this one feels a lot more like actual good practice i would say Oof. definitely the, the his best design so far too Ooh, we might get a lot of speed here i gotta be like look really careful it looks like there's a lot of rings so i'm assuming i get a lot of boost down here but i want to make sure i go in controlled yep and get my speed out okay perfect that was pretty good you gotta be really careful with those uh downward slopes because you're gonna use a lot of boost the rest of this map looks... What is that? <laughs> I hope that's just design. I don't have to go through that thing. Okay, it looks like just design. We go around it, which is fine. Oh, the end there. It's the same thing there with that vertical part. There's a lot of rings, so you can get a lot of boost. But I would be really careful ahead of time. I'm just keeping an eye on it. 100... I'm going too fast. Oh, I looked at the thing at the top for one second. 103 rings at the time. That's a lot of rings. A lot of boost usage, too. Where am I going? That's not too bad. Oh, I'm going underneath. Honestly, yeah, it's really clean design. I, I'm, I really need to do one of these because honestly, you can just copy paste these rings in locations you want to put them in. So the map is like pretty easy to make, um, but it's all about the creativity and spacing and stuff. And the thing about Rocket League is, is that you, it's really hard to tell the size of things um, ahead of time. So you have to keep jumping into the game and make sure that um, the distance is pretty good. I'm probably going to do a, a limited boost one like this too. Um, inspired by DMC just because it's really, really clean. Okay, I got to keep my speed a little bit balanced here as I come in. Oof, I ran out of boost there <laughs> for a second. That was spooky. Alright. I have 60 boosts. Got to make sure I, I'm a little careful here, but I also want to keep my speed up so I don't run out of boost. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, and we're back. I had to start from here because uh, this part's important on the approach I learned very quickly. So you want to be careful with how you're coming into this. You have to make sure you lose your speed and then start pushing up right away or else you won't make it up here. Uh, as I learned, I ran out of boost. So I'll be really efficient around these corners. Hopefully we can do it. Be really, really tight. Tight angle turns. Keep your speed up. Did I do it? 
Oh. We're good, I think. Oh no. Uh, there's a lot of rings here to give me the boost that I need to stay level before I get down to the bottom here. So that's what I'm going to do. See if that game plan changes up anything. Let's hold my boost, get up really quickly. That was not the most efficient. Hopefully it's good enough. Oh no. I run out of boost again. Keep it this game plan of just tapping like this. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> Let's do a little hot potato. This is also, this is honestly fine. I'm not worried. No, it's no problem at all. No worries. <laughs> no. Okay, that is sick. Okay, that gave me a new idea for another map uh, run for this. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, <laughs> the least amount of rings used at 40 boosts. I think every time I went through this section, I've definitely improved. So let's see if we can finally, <laughs> finally get through this final little stretch here. I'm sure that um, in my next run, I'm going to do another run right after this uh, with no talking just so I can actually focus. I'm sure I can probably get it pretty quick. Just a matter of getting the right balance here with the turns. Not too bad, but that little turn there might have been detrimental. Hold on to the ring if I can. No. Wait. No. I don't think there's any like <laughs> salvaging this. I don't know. If I don't know if it's possible. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> All right, and we're back once again. Let's see if we can get a good lift off here. Nice. Keep it stable. Nice and tight around these turns. Just make sure I'm always facing inwards. Use the boost efficiently. Make sure I get all the way up to this one. I'll land on this one quick. Okay. Just give me that extra speed. The hot potato strategy is coming in handy. I actually really like that. That could help me a lot. In the speed run, maybe. And there we go. Okay, right, 101 rings in that run, but I did obviously did that skip to get me there a lot faster. Um, wait a minute. Unlock master difficulty. 37 boosts per ring. Oh my god, I'm sure that that actually matters a lot. So that's like just from the run I just did, three less boost on the 101 rings. That's that's literally 303 boosts. That's three full boost canisters less. Um, I'm going to do the speed run uh, through the, all the rings with extreme difficulty first. Um, and then maybe I'll do master difficulty without uh, the least amount of rings or something. That's insane.
Oh wow, so I actually skipped an entire 60 rings <laughs> doing that skip I did. Um, that's crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reduce it. We'll see if I can try like some crazy strategies to like get it under 100. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that, if you want to see another master run difficulty as well. But let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video.